On Saturday, August 3rd, Comanche Nation Police Department held cops and kids at the Comanche Nation Tribal Complex. Comanche Nation Police Department Lieutenant Robert Chavez said the event helps prepare kids for the school year and youth to become comfortable around police officers. Cops are real people too. We're not scary. Uh, we're real people. We have real lives. Uh, it's better to interact with the kids now. That way they understand that it's okay. Uh, to speak to a cop, uh, to go to a cop, to, to report something that they see if it's wrong. There were slides, snow cones, lunches, and a powwow at Cops and Kids. Let the community know that, hey, look, you do have a culture. If you don't know uh, a lot about it, this is what this is for. Um, we have some soldier soldiers that have volunteered from Fort Sill that never seen a teepee, let alone they did go over there and help put it up. Uh, same thing with the drummers. They've never heard the drummers, the singers. They've never seen uh, princesses for the for the tribes. So seeing that stuff is is good for the community, uh, especially people who are not familiar with the Native American community. So reaching out to everybody, not only tribal members. Chavez said he was surprised by the amount of work it took to put on the event. I didn't realize how much work it was until I was put in this position. Uh, it usually starts about three months out. I had a month to deal with it. Um, so I'll at least know what I'm looking forward to next year. Uh, for this event, but I really enjoyed it. Um, last minute stuff, working late hours, and uh, everybody running around pretty crazy is making this event happen. So it looks like it's turning out good so far. Nicholas Craig, a patrol officer for the Comanche Nation Police Department, had multiple jobs throughout the day. Well, I was kind of back and forth, I guess, in a sense. I was over at the grill for some time, helping grill the hot dogs over, over to helping wrap them up and put them in the bags for the kids and the parents. He said it was great to see all of these support for the event. First and foremost, I like to, you know, give back to the community as much as I can. Uh, you know, we're, we're out here, sometimes sometimes uh, all, all people see is the bad side of us. So I would like, I'd like for them to see the good side, you know, and show that, that we give back to the community, you know, whether it's through food, entertainment, you know, the powwow grounds. Several outlets such as the Bureau of Indian Affairs, Lawson Police Department, Muskogee Creek Tribal Police, and others participated in Cops and Kids. There were also giveaways for children of various ages. Comanche Nation Princess Blue Sky Tosi and Comanche Nation Junior Princess Arlene Sconchin signed the Lord's Prayer sung by Bubba Zobo. Comanche Nation Indian Veterans Association opened the day with their presentation of colors. Reporting for the Comanche Nation PIO News, Natasha McDonald.